to another video from the folks here at Havens Consulting. Now my name is Reed Havens and I'm the founder of Havens Consulting and I'm here today to talk to you about a really cool trick that I learned about the Power BI service. Now as a quick uh, overview of that for those of you who haven't um, used or seen that yet, Power BI service is a feature that lets you kind of right up here as a data source from Get Data, you can treat any published Power BI report as a connected model to connect to, to grab all of your data and to be able to pull in all of your calculations, your columns and everything else and kind of have a single model to host all of that. Now if you've ever been on to PowerBI.com, you know, this environment right here, you'll notice this, that you have a couple of layers and levels. You have dashboards, reports, and data sets. Now in this scenario that I'm going to run you through today, what I really like to do is I want to show you how to take a current report and this uh, Power BI service demo that we just saw right over here. And I'm going to show you how to take this in a scenario where, let's say I've used this, I've built this model out, and then I've d discovered that I'm actually going to have about three, four, or maybe even five or more reports that all connect to this data model because it can serve a lot of different scenarios. But I don't really want to have all of those in one report. I don't really want to have a, a single report with like 20 tabs. I would rather have a bunch of different things all pointing to a singular data model. Now, in my perfect world, I want to completely separate my data model from my reporting. So I really just want a data model hosted online by itself, and then I want to be able to connect a bunch of reports to it. Now, if I'd already have a report like this built, I don't really want to like strip out the report page from here and then have to rebuild that when I use the Power BI service to connect to this data model. So let me walk you through the trick that I learned to be able to take a report like this and upgrade it and separate the data model, but keep all the work that you did for this report. So step one is going to be similar to what I mentioned. So we're going to take this and I'm going to, I'm going to save this as a version. I'm going to go ahead and say save as, and I'm going to call this, let's call this um, data model demo. Save that right there. All right. Now I'm going to go and publish. Now I'm going to publish that to, I will just pick any workspace. This works in any environment. So I'll say my workspace, select. Oh, and actually one thing I forgot to do, uh, as a data model, as I mentioned, I like to completely strip out all of the report pages from it. So I'm going to create that new kind of blank tab and completely delete that report page that I have here. Now don't fret, we are going to get that back in that other thing or in the other report file. But in this, I want this completely empty. I want this to just be my data model and nothing else. And that's what it has. It has all of my information, all of my columns, fact, uh, fact tables, my measures table, but there is no report. This is simply the data model that I'm gonna be publishing to powerbi.com. So I'm gonna hit publish. Try that one more time with the extra effort. Go to my workspace and hit select. Beautiful, let that publish. All right, we've successfully published it. I'm going to go ahead and select got it. I'm going to go back to my Power BI workspace over here. And there you can see there's, there's my data model demo. And now this is where this uh, separate layer comes into play. You'll notice that I have a report called data model demo, and I have a data set called data model demo. Well, that report page, if we take a look at it, there's nothing here. It's empty. You can actually delete this report page right here. I'm going to go ahead and select remove, get rid of that. Now all that I have left published on this service is my data model demo right here. So essentially that hosted data model. Now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna open that original report file that I just had. Now here's where the magic trick comes into play. I wanna take this, I don't want this to have its own separate model because if I publish this separately, now that is this report with the model, but I also have that separate data model that I've published. And now that's two times the development or three or four. You don't want that. You really want one single hosted data model that these all connect live to. Now, if I try to do that right now, the, the connect live option for this file is disabled because it already contains data. You cannot explore live data and connect it to another source in the same file. So it says I have to create a new file. So it's, it's kind of um, misleading right here. I don't actually have to create a new file. I'm gonna do a little bit of a hack. I'm gonna to go to edit queries, where my imported things are. And I'm gonna delete, let's see if I can do this all at once. I'm gonna delete everything in here. Every single query that I have, I'm gonna completely 
empty my workbook. Boom, done. Now everything's gonna break, just for a minute. Yep, see, everything's broken right now. I still have my, my logo, my title, but all these things are broken. Now, let's go back to get data. Let's go to Power BI service. Hey, look at that, because I'm not importing anything, I'm able to connect now. And now I can go to my, my workspace. And that data model demo, which is the exact same data model that, that this had, but this report will now have a live connection to. If I select it right here and I hit load, give that a second. Hey, look at that. Beautiful, perfect. We are good to go. It is now showing the data back in here. All of the cards automatically filled in. I saved all the effort. Um, all of my custom formatting was brought back. All of uh, everything that I did, so I'd probably save myself a couple of hours, you know, potentially if I had a, a report that had five, six, seven tabs. And now I have completely separated my physical data model that's hosted now, and I can build any number of reports off of that. But that biggest thing being, uh, this is perfect for those scenarios where you used to have a single report, and then you encounter a scenario where, hey, wait, that report could actually service a lot of other reports as well, or the data model in it. And so here's a great way to take that original report page that was in that, separate it without having to repeat it and you know, kind of one visual at a time recreate it in a brand new file. Now the last thing that I wanna do, I wanna go ahead and take this file and I wanna publish it online so you can see that physical separation of the data model and then reports. So I'm gonna save this workbook. Now it is a live connected one and I'm gonna hit publish. Now do you notice right now, by the way, it did not ask me which workspace to publish to. Part of Power BI service, if you are connected to a model in any workspace, including your own My Workspace, it will only be able to get published to that same workspace. That's just part of the security um, and safety around that. So it, it, uh, the model and the published report will always be in the same one. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go take a look. And there we are. You can see that I have my data model demo down here at the bottom. And then there's that report that has that separated model to report. And now I can build a second or a third or a fourth off that data model really easily. All right, well, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.